President Farras. Well, there's only one real debate going on here this week in Strasbourg. It's the fear stalking the corridors. The concern you've got about the rise of Euroscepticism. Uh, years ago, you were less worried. We were, those of us, few of us here who were Eurosceptic were treated as being mentally ill and sort of patted on the head. Uh, but now we're evil populists. We're dangerous. We're going to bring down Western civilization. Um, and it's clear you don't get it. You don't understand why this is happening. Well, let me help you. In 2005, it was the pivotal moment of this project. The French and the Dutch had said no to the EU constitution. Mr. Barroso stood up and said they didn't really vote no. They didn't understand what they were doing. They did. They did. You see, ever since 2005, the real European debate is about identity. And what we're saying, large numbers of us from every single EU member state, is we don't want that flag. We don't want the anthem that you all stood so ramrod straight for yesterday. We don't want EU passports. We don't want political union. And if you think about it, there's nothing extreme about that position. There's nothing right-wing about that position. There's nothing left-wing, indeed, about that position. It is a normal, sensible assertion of identity. Because what we're saying on our side of the argument, well, you see, you can scream and shout all you like, which really rather proves to me why you're going to do so badly in the European elections next year. Because you're not listening. We want to live and work and breathe in a Europe of nation-state democracy. We want to trade together. We want to cooperate together. We're happy to agree sensible common minimum standards. And yes, we want to control our own borders, which is the rational, logical and sensible thing for any nation state to do. We're not against immigration. We're not against immigrants. We believe there needs to be a degree of control. And that is the message that is picking up support right across, this con uh, right across this continent. And I genuinely think that there is an opportunity for an electoral earthquake to happen in the European elections next year with a large number of people from all sides of this House come with a nation-state agenda who will come saying, let's have a Europe, as de Gaulle might have said, of the patrie, let's not have a Europe of political union. And you can abuse us all you like, but what we stand for is fair, principled and democratic. Thank you.